Okay, Nuggets. This one's going to be a hard video to make. So I've been thinking about this potato diet that I'm starting tomorrow. And um, I think I need a checklist of what's wrong with me, right? So um, data points that I can analyze during the diet, um, uh, however long it lasts. God, I hope it lasts. You know what? This thought process I'm going to talk about in a minute, right? This I've given up for. I've started. I haven't, but it sounds like I have. Um, but things I can analyze, I've just realized itching. <laughs> I've got to add one of the uh, things to my list. So I want data points. I want stuff that I can look at and then I can track. The obvious ones are weight, right? Um, but there are other ones as well. There are other things that I think that a, I'm hoping a reset of the diet will help. Or will it, and even if they don't, then I'll know that they don't. Right? I'll know that it isn't just my diet creating these issues. Now, I, I'm not saying that these are that the potato diet specifically will help. What I'm doing is I'm using potatoes as a way to try a reset, to try and be more mindful of who I am and what I do to this body and the fact that I'm in my 50s and I'm on the down slope. And how long is my slope? How long before I die, basically? You know, uh, Particularly, I lost my mum this year, so I think a lot about death. Um, and missed opportunities and stuff like that. And so uh, I wanted to make a checklist. So that's what this is. This is going to address where I am currently at. So some of this is going to be fucking depressing. <laughs> okay. That's just the truth of it. I want to be honest about it. And uh, I probably get a little bit emotional talking about it. But um, one thing I do really like about myself is I'm very honest, right? So what's out there is out there. So I'm just going to tell you about myself and uh, what I'm currently going through. And if this is depressing, I'm not asking for help because I'm trying to deal with it tomorrow. Um, maybe a bit of love would be nice, right? Because you should love on everyone. Um, but this is where I'm at, okay? And I am not don't want pity. I just want you to know. So it's on video camera. And I can address this, hopefully, during my diet. Okay, so my weight. I am 290 pounds. I'm going to weigh myself tomorrow as well, but I'm going to be about the same, right? I mean, at, <laughs> when you're that big... Like it's I'm 290.4 today. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking at. That's not the issue here. One pound here or there is not the problem. So, uh, oh, what's that? Something happened. I don't know. My wife is sending me stuff. Um, so I'm 290 pounds and I'll weigh myself every single day. Hopefully I won't move the scales because that's the other issue. I'm so near the limit of what my scale says it can weigh, which is 200, 300 pounds. That if I move it, I can lose two pounds of weight by moving the scale. I know that sounds ridiculous and just like, well, it's a bad scale. But my wife uses it and it's fine. It's accurate for her. So I'm going to hopefully not move the scale and weigh myself and I will start 290 pounds. Uh, I would address this every day as well. This is just the checklist, the pre-potato diet checklist. Okay, my sleep patterns. My sleep, which I've struggled with all my life, but then again, I've struggled with my diet all my life as well. Uh, is very erratic, my sleep. I will go through long periods of sleeping well, long periods of being completely unable to sleep. I will go through uh, periods where I can only sleep for a couple of hours at a time, and then periods where I sleep for nine or 10 hours at a time, but then I'm awake for 36 hours. It's chaos. My sleep has always been chaos. And right now, it is chaos on a condensed schedule. So it's Bad. it's one way for three days and then it's another way for three days and then another way for three days. It's just shifting all over the place and actually driving me a little bit crazy. I literally feel like I'm flirting with insanity at times because um, it's a very weird feeling to be sitting up at four o'clock in the morning and for your body to think that it's noon. It's just a weird feeling. So anyway, my, my sleep is erratic. The side part of that, another side effect of that is that I'm always tired always tired. I wake up exhausted. I am way more tired when I wake up than I am when I go to bed, which is so fucking weird. Now I think about it. Um, I also wake up every night, right? So um, it doesn't disturb my sleep necessarily, but I will wake up at, at least once or twice a night, sometimes more, and I'll go to the bathroom um, often, or I'll just wake up and I'll be itching and scratching or the dog will be barking at something. I'll just wake up. I have interrupted sleep all the time. I don't believe I have sleep apnea, but maybe I do. I don't know. I should probably get that checked out. But interrupted sleep. Um, 
Can't sleep for more than six hours. Okay, so yeah, that's the other thing is I can't sleep. Even if I do sleep and it's woken up, if the total amount of sleep I get is more than six hours, I will not be able to sleep on a regular schedule the next night. So if I go to bed at midnight and then I wake up at three o'clock in the morning and then I go back to sleep and I wake up at six in the morning, if I happen to sleep till seven in the morning, I won't be able to sleep till two or three in the morning the next night. It's like I'm on a my my diurnal cycle, which should be 24 hours. If I get more than six hours sleep, it's now 26 hours, 27 hour cycle. I just can't do it. So I have to get less out than six hours sleep. Otherwise, I won't sleep the next night. And with less than six hours sleep, I'm always tired. It's this horrible, stupid cycle I'm in. So well, what's wrong with my dog? What's wrong? Oh, hang on. Poor dog got his foot caught in the blanket. Iggy. Yeah, he's okay. He's such a whiner. He's such a whiner. All right. Anyway. Hey, you just got to see how fat I am when I walked over there. All right. Not that you couldn't tell from this, but there you go. Okay, so that's my sleep pattern. Let's talk about depression. Um, So uh, I feel hopeless, right? I feel like uh, I can't see the point in anything. Like everything just feels, you know... I think the thing I get most excited about is food and television, right? And um, I only get excited about television because it feels like a purpose. It's like, well, let's watch this show, and now I'm doing something. Like, what did we just watch on Netflix? Uh, the Queen's Gambit, a chess about a chess player. It was really good, actually. It's a great show. Um, but I know that that's wrong. That should not feel like purpose to me, watching television. Um as I've mentioned, I have no energy um, and I have no motivation. Like, I wake up in the morning, I would like to go back to bed, you know. And the only reason I don't go back to bed is because I know, oh, well, that just means that at the point when I am fully awake and I am able to move around, I'll be up for four, two days straight. So I can't do that. Um, I also have no direction in my life. I kind of have no idea what to do with my 50s. Um Because a lot of the things that you take for granted or I have taken for granted when I'm younger are no longer true, which is I've always thought, well, I can just go get a job. That's just not true anymore. It's not that simple. I'm part of the older workforce now and it's just not as easy. Offers don't come in. People don't get back to me. And I've said that before on this, like, um, you know, it's it wasn't pride because but the truth is that I don't think I ever got I got turned down for like one job in my life. Everything I went for, I got. You know, I was just lucky that way. I just, and I interview very well, right? And I have a good resume as well. And I'm good, I used to be good at what I do. But that's all changing now. You know, the age is a, is a big factor in what I do, you know, and it's very difficult. So I feel like suddenly I'm directionless. I don't know what the hell to do with my life, right? Um, and all of those things added together means I'm always anxious. I'm always on edge. And the littlest thing sets me off, you know. Um, noises set me off. Like I'm just, I'm just, really fucking tense you know I have to work really hard to stay patient and to stay tolerant because I don't feel that way I feel angry and upset and annoyed all the time (laughs) I'm a joy to be with um okay so let's do some physical stuff uh my skin condition I have really bad dry skin I have it around my forehead here and here like literally it's disgusting but I told you I'm going to tell you it in the morning if I kind of rub my head flakes of skin will fall off uh, I have had uh, dandruff before. It's not dandruff, actually. What is it? It's not dandruff. It's dry scalp. It is different, apparently. And I have a shampoo that I use for that. I haven't had it for years, but I I think it's coming back now, um, which is usually a sign of my overall mental state degrading. Um, so, But I have very dry skin. And also, like if I get a bug bite or something like that, it takes a long time to heal. Any wounds take... A ridiculously long time to heal. I have, uh, I had bug bites. I went camping about four months ago. I still have bug bites on my leg from that time. <laughs> I have still have the little wound, tiny little wound, right? I got bitten by a bug here about three weeks ago. I still have it right there. You see that? That one right there? That's from three weeks ago. I take a long time to heal. I've always been a little bit like that, um, but I'm really noticing it now. So dry skin, wounds taking a long time to heal. 
Um, I have some physical ailments, right? The ball of my left foot hurts. That's new. <laughs> when I walk on it, it feels like a strained a tendon in my foot or something, but it hurts when I walk on it. Uh, I have arthritis in my fingers. My doc has told me it's not arthritis. He doesn't, it's just swollen joints, but they all hurt. I can crack my knuckles very easily. Um, this is inflamed. I think you can even, I don't know, can you see that? This one, this one right here. Okay, you see how that knuckle is a bit misshapen? Well, all of my fat little fingers, not fat, my fat big fingers are hurt a little bit. Um, I can hurt my arms and my joints very easily if I move too fast. I said, I'm not dying here. I know it sounds like it is. I'm just, I'm literally pointing out all the stuff, right? Uh, along with the arthritis that I apparently don't have, but it feels like it, uh, my hip hurts. And particularly when I sleep, I'm fine walking around. My back hurts when I walk too far, but that is literally just because I'm fat. That is, that's a very simple, your big fat belly hurts your back. You're carrying around a lot of weight. But my hip hurts, which I spoke to the doctor about. And I said, well, isn't that just because I've been carrying this weight so long? And so they did an x-ray and he said, there's nothing wrong with your hip. It's like it's not worn down any more than you would expect, which is surprising considering I'm nearly 300 pounds. But when I sleep at night, my hip really hurts. So I toss and turn all night, which is part of the reason I don't sleep well. Like I have a side pillow that try and help to try and help but I basically have these little 30 minute windows to try and sleep and if I don't fall asleep in that 30 minutes my hip starts to hurt and I have to switch to the other side and then I'm awake again I think that's part of the sleep problem uh, it could just be weight related but my doctor didn't point that out and I have a good doctor so I don't know he pointed out all my other weight related issues just not that one um I'm itchy that was the one I just discovered while I was here I constantly scratch and at night, I'm constantly scratching. And it's not like an itch. It's almost, it feels like a psychological, it's almost like a little, like something's crawling on my skin. And then I itch and it's gone. And there's obviously, there's nothing crawling on me. Um, I just, I become hyper aware of my body when I try to sleep. And so I'm always itchy. And I'm always doing it. And I'm doing it when I do these videos. You may have noticed I do this a lot. My nose, I'm always like, oh, my beard. I'm like, I'm itching shit all the time. Maybe I need to get rid of this beard, but there's like 40 chins under here. There's like another three of me <laughs> after this. Uh, last thing on the physical stuff is I get a lot of headaches. I've got one right now. Um, they're not terrible. So, and I used to get migraines, so I know what a bad headache's like. They're not awful. I just feel like I have a headache all day. Just a little dull headache. It, it could be just the depression or the anxiety related. Uh, and then a couple of mental notes to this. This is a long video for all of the things that are wrong with me as a check-in. Um, I feel like I'm at a complete creative dead end. This could be related to all of the other stuff, but it's really hard to think of new ideas or to focus on old ones right now. I just can't come up with stuff. I, I open the software, right? And I sit there in front looking at my work trying to generate, I even start writing. It's just it's just dead, just nothing happens. It's just a complete block right now. I think that's just depression related, but um, that's happening, that's what's happening. Um, so I'm also very easily dissuaded or discouraged, right? Which I've always had a little bit in my life and I know a lot of people associate with this, like you kind of don't want to put yourself out there because if someone doesn't like what you're doing, it's just like a, you know, who likes rejection? It was the same with women my whole life. So, you know what I mean? Or relationships my whole life. I don't want to be rejected. And so, and I couldn't be alone. And so therefore, you know, I found the person I love and I'm like, okay, it's got to be this. And I'm just, um, I'm very easily discouraged and dissuaded. And I feel that that's even more so right now. I feel I'm very fragile in that respect. Um, I have no tenacity or discipline with anything. That's why this potato diet, I have no idea. So when I was making the videos about it, when I've, this video and the one I made before, I'm like, am I going to be able to do this? I don't know how long I'm going to last. I'm already giving up because there's no part of me. I have no faith in my own ability to see something through, to stick to it. So even now, and I haven't even started the diet, I'm convincing myself that I'm not going to be able to complete this because I just don't have it in me. I have no discipline and I'll give up. And I think that that's something I've got to fix if I'm going to get better at anything in my life, right? Um, and even if I am 50 and I haven't fixed it yet, I can't just give up and think I can ever fix it. Um, 
And then part of it is also I just don't feel that I'm courageous. I don't like taking risks. I'm a very soft, <laughs> balanced, slightly cowardly guy, right? I don't have courage. Um, I used to. I used to. Uh, I just don't know what's happened to it. It's just disappeared. I'm afraid of everything. Maybe that's just what happens as you get older. But I find myself more and more afraid. And what I thought was going to happen is that you would just be like, you would get the fuck it. I don't give a fuck about anything. This is what I think. And this is the truth. And I don't. It's the opposite. I'm more afraid. I find things terrifying now. <laughs> you know, I'm more scared of things. So maybe that, maybe those things aren't related. But anyway, that's the assessment. I'm sure that was thoroughly depressing. But you don't have to watch this. This is for me. And it's, if it helps you, then that's awesome. I'm glad it does. And leave a comment and we can talk about it. Tomorrow will be the first way in, which I hope will be the same unless I go crazy and eat like 300 pounds of food tonight, which I won't. I don't do that. Um, I'm not a binge eater. I'm not that. I just eat the bad stuff and the wrong time. Um, I'll do the weigh in and uh, I'll do a check in about how my sleep was and I'll kind of address this little list I've got going and see if anything's changed. If nothing's changed, I won't mention it and that's it. This is my check in video. I'll probably put this up tomorrow morning. I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to make it now while I had the energy and while I'm wearing my PBS shirt because I'm so proud of it. Where are you little nuggets? Potato, potato, mashed potato.